little action right here, y'all. There he goes. He's on there. Let's, let's get him. Oh, really, man, if I can catch up with him here. Yeah, there he is. This bait here is dragging, y'all. I'm mixing things up a little bit this morning. Just a little variety out here. My motor going back the other way. That's one of the troubles with dragging is when you're in a kayak, these fish, even smaller fish, can get you spun around and go in the other direction in a hurry. And get your other bait out of whack. So I'm going to reel this one in here and I'll get you updated on where I'm at and what I'm doing today and what the plan is. This one here is going to be fish number one in about... I'd say I'm probably 20 minutes or so into the trip. Not been out here too terribly long. We're still still here getting the fog burn off this morning. Let's see. Yep. A little small blue cat there. We'll get him over here in the frame. He ate a midsection of skipjack on a dragon rig. Oh, there he went too. Just popped off. Good. Got the quick release. <laughs> All right, let me get another bait on here and I'll get you the 411 on what's going down today. All right, guys, I got my next bait on. That's just a hunk of skipjack. I've got that on a three-way rig. This is my dragging setup. If you've watched my videos the last few years, you've seen it, but that's a 10 aught size hook on about a four foot or so liter floating rattle above my uh, bait there. Got that down to my dragging weights. There's links down in the description if you want to learn how to make those. And I'm just going to let out some line here and set that in the rod holder. And I'm going to keep making my way along. I'm out here this morning and I am working a main channel ledge up through here. There's a, a flat that comes off and then drops off. And I'm kind of right on the edge of it, right where it starts to come up. So depth's going to vary. Right now I'm at 28 feet. As I get on up through here, it's going to get a little deeper. They'll probably end up at about 40 feet today. And so I'm using a combination of styles. Up here on the front of the kayak, I've got baits suspended. I've got them raised up just a couple feet off the bottom. I've got a headpiece and a midsection of skipjack. Skipjack is the only bait I have with me today, so that's what we're rolling with. Now on the back of the kayak here, I'm dragging baits. I've got a headpiece over here and of course the midsection over here that I just dropped off. So gonna be dragging two, suspending two, trolling out here this morning cause well, I don't have any current. In these morning hours here in the summer months, TVA, they just ain't generating. So gotta troll if you wanna move. And so I've got my speed here, 0.4 miles an hour. And I'm gonna get on over here closer. You can see where I'm positioned at the ledge is over here starts to come up i'm gonna get myself moved on over a little bit that last fish as i mentioned when you when you catch a fish when you're dragging in a kayak because these kayaks are so lightweight whatever side that that fish pulls you toward the kayak wants to veer around so you oftentimes kind of get off course for a minute there while you get it reeled in but uh, it's out here this morning about 6 30 ish now first light got some fog out here this morning so hopefully if there is a morning bite going on hopefully that fog will help extend it a little while but i'm gonna again just work this ledge this morning fishing down here today because well my parents live close down here and they're going on a little trip and i gotta let their dog out today so it's more convenient for me to fish down here so that's why i'm rolling with it down here but uh, hopefully i'm gonna catch some fish today let's do it oh man well that's a pulling now look at that that's on that headpiece buddy that's a pulling well he took me around didn't he that one nailed it That's exciting, man. My suspended baits ain't been touched yet, y'all. I ain't even had a, a dink tap on them. Well, that's two on the dragon now. That's how it goes sometimes, you know. They oftentimes will show preference. Oh, now I got one going down. <laughs> I'm gonna deal with the one in the hand first. Okay, I see him back there. That's a that's a smaller blue, man. That was a nice takedown. Let's let him do his thing back there. Pick up on this one. We doubled up. My drag got messed up on that, didn't it? There we go. Must have hit it in the car there. 
I was just saying these suspended baits ain't been hit since about the same size as the one that hit the dragon rod. All right, I'm gonna let him tire himself out. He didn't fight that hard. This one back here ought to have wore himself out on that initial takedown. Once he had a little drag pull in there to start. Yeah, so the one here that was dragging ate a headpiece, the other one a body chunk. All right, let's bring the one that's on the dragon rig in. Get my bait back on that too, and it still looks like it's in good shape, so I'm gonna send it back down there in a minute. Well, there's the first one there. Old blue kitty, I thought he was bigger than that. He fought like he was bigger than that. And this one here, didn't fight like he was as big as he is. <laughs> so that's two to one now. Two on the dragon rigs and one on the suspended. And again, I was saying these times when fish will show a preference toward one or the other, I generally prefer to suspend just because it's, well, it's more fun in my opinion. And when I go fishing, well, I'm, I'm about having fun. But some days, you know, they just, for whatever reason, want a bait presented one way or the other. All right, there's that one. Well, that one threw the bait off, so I'm going to get another one put on and just keep making my way. I've still got the motor going. You can see here, I got myself spun around here uh, before I landed that one on the dragon rig. And again, when I'm trolling like this whether it be i'm suspending or dragging it doesn't matter i like to get on the edges of the channels here this right here where it starts to come up is right here beside me it really starts a steep incline here and then there's a flat up there that's just a few feet deep so that comes off comes down and again i'm right on the edge here half a mile an hour which is generally what i like my speed 0 0.3 0 0.5 slow slow moving whether i'm drifting or trolling or whatever it seems to get me more more bites more success doing that so anyway enough of me yapping on let's get another bait on here get this one back here thrown back out and we'll be fishing again fish well that's another one on the suspended bait we're two to two now and i think we're two to two on the head pieces versus midsections also this is another one on the head Let's see what we got here. Blue cat. Probably about the same size as the other. Just a small, what I call a, a larger dink size. I think I'm going to get the bait back on him too. I see it. He's got it choked in his mouth there. I'm just going to bring him in like that just to get him on in here. Get that bait back. Oh, oh, quit. Quit that. I'll let you go, buddy, if you quit. I'm going to let you go regardless, but I'd prefer you quit. <laughs> there we go. Let's take a look at that. Oh, yeah, that's in good shape. That's going back down. All right, Blue Kitty. You were fun. Next time. He bit my thumb on the way. Look there. He done tore up my nail. All right. Bait, again, it's hooked good still, everything. So I'll send it right back down. That one, I'm in 32 feet right now. So I had that bait down there, 29, 30 foot off the bottom. And again, because I'm going, the direction I'm going here, my depth is gonna change. It's gonna continue to get deeper as I go further and further up through here. But I'm just, as I make my way along, but just lowering my baits as needed to keep them in that kind of two to three foot depth there off the bottom. And of course the ones that are dry, that got that rod got hit. There it goes. There it goes. <laughs> That's why I love suspend fishing right there. Just seeing them rods just shoot down toward the water. That's fun. This one's gonna be a little bigger. I think it's gonna be the biggest one in the morning right here. I may end up just switching all my rods over to suspended baits before long just for just for fun. I spent 
pretty much all of 2018 dragging just working on it trying to get better at it but when you get right down to it, it it's it's a matter of how you want to spend your time on the water what's the most fun way and it's going to vary for everybody you know it's all about personal preference but for me this right here suspending baits i don't care if i'm anchored or if i'm drifting or i'm trolling having these suspended baits go down that's a nice blue man i knew that was a good fish that's a really good fish man oh man he got my other front line up there and i don't even care oh, that's a good fish we're gonna let this boat go by and i'm gonna land him yes sir look at that thing man on the midsection let's let this boat go by we don't want him to know i'm catching any fish then we'll land him all right let's land this thing get him on up in here he's made a mess of my other line i don't even care oh goodness man he's on me that thing's still green man let's get my other line wrapped around him here he managed to get in it that happens but it's worthwhile when you get one like this Woo. oh that's what he eat right there just a chunk of skipjack on the suspended bait and i got a good one here yeah i say we're in the spawn right now fish like this they don't come along as frequently but you can still get them and if you just got to put the time in you got to put the work in a lot of people don't want to do that they take the spawn off not me i keep going <laughs> and every year i start getting some better quality fish just because my time on the water yeah all right well it was a good time i'm gonna let him go get these lines undone and i'm gonna keep making my way up through here nice man <laughs> that was a good time get out of here fishy. gone all right <laughs> worthwhile y'all worthwhile i didn't want to come down here today i had fished recently probably the last video i think but i had put in the same spot went downstream didn't do worth a crap a few small dinks and so i didn't want to come back out here but then i got the text from my mom last night reminding me i committed to letting that dog out today it's like oh crap so since it's convenient i thought i'll come back down here but Instead of going downstream like I did last time, I'm going to work my way upstream, hit this section. And uh, so far, paying off. That bait there, I mean, it's still in pretty good shape. I'm going to just send it right back down. Ain't no reason not to. Send it down there. And my other one, it's wrapped around my transducer right now. I'm going to check it, make sure it didn't get thrown off the hook in the fight. I'm gonna send it back down. Let's take. A, I'm gonna reel it up here and just take a look at it. I'd rather. Yeah. Yeah, it's still on there in good shape. So drop it back down. And we'll keep going here. That's good times, man. I like it. I like getting them better quality fish, especially on the suspended bait. You know, folks, it has been a while since Leaf Blower Man has made an appearance in one of my videos. And lucky for us, he's out here today, 7.30 in the morning, out here doing some leaf blowing. Had Weed Eater Man out here even earlier. I guess he's finishing up from where Weed Eater Man was. And we also got Hammering Man up here, too. So they, it had been a few videos, I think, since I had dealt with this. So we're getting them all in one on this one. <laughs> yep, look at it go down. Oh man, he's going up under the kayak too. Boy, he headed backwards. I think we got control of him here now. He went, he hit and went under me. <laughs> this one's another one on the headpiece on the suspended bait. Get him up here and take a look at it. I'm gonna go a little further up here. Yeah, that's a little better. It's a longer fish. 
a dink, but it has some length to him. I was going to say, though, I'm going to go a little bit further up here, and I'm going to reel everything in and replace my baits. Get some fresh pieces on here. My dragon baits have been hit a few times, so I'm not entirely certain what kind of condition they're in right now. This thing's going to start spinning and thrashing around here. Yeah, maybe not. He's going to be calm for me. That's a good fish right there. That's a good, that's a well-behaved blue cat. Thank you so much, blue cat. That is very nice of you to let me get that hook out of you very gently. That's a nice blue cat, y'all. I want you to have a good day, Mr. Blue Cat. Thank you for a good time. What a courteous fish. He didn't try to bite my finger off or anything. Well, let's take a look at this. If this bait's still okay. Yeah, it's still okay. I'm gonna drop it back down. Now I'm going to go up here to about the next buoy, I think. Well, then I'm going to reel my dragon baits in and probably switch them out because I know they've been hit a few times. And then I'll just switch everything out at once at that point. Dragon rod's getting hit here. I think he's got it. He does. He's got it. It's been a while on these dragon rods, hasn't it? hooked up now though this is on the headpiece I was just about up here where I was wanting to go to just refresh my bait may just go ahead and do it now since I'm going to have this one reeled in kind of thinking about getting up here in the shallows while we still got some fog out here this morning dragging up there on top of the right on the top of the drop on the edge of that flat may have something going on up there may do that for a little while anyway I'm just out here goofing off y'all it's the spawn my expectations are low already got a good fish this morning I'm just out here just messing around it's a it's a better quality dink right here He's too calm. He's going to show out here in a second. He's going to thrash around and act a fool before it's said and done. No, he ain't. Look here. This is another one that's real calm like the last one. This is some... I wonder if that ain't the same one as before. So courteous this morning. That's so nice of you. Thank you. Oh, well, he got me. He said heck with that. I know it's too good to be true. Is he going to try to thrash around, take my thumb off, or splash me on the way out? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to switch this bait. I'm going to go ahead and reel this one in. I think what I'm going to do is get up here. Because, again, I'm right here on the bottom edge of this drop. I may get up here and, and get on the top and just run a stretch of it and see what happens. It's only a few feet deep up there, so I'll probably ditch the suspended rods while I'm up there because uh, it's just a hassle. I'm not going to catch much suspended right there by the motor, you know, uh, in three, four foot of water. By dragging baits, having them a good distance behind me going up through there, maybe we will. So let's just go check it out see what happens. Right here. Look right here. Oh boy, he's a stripping drag. Look at him go out there. This one, y'all, was not dragging. Oh, he's coming at me, too. Coming straight at me. Is that, yeah, that's a cat. Yeah, y'all, this one wasn't dragging. I took my dragon sinker off and just had that bait about a foot or two under the surface. Just under the, under the bobber. That's what this one ate. May do the same thing with the other one just to keep from getting snagged and all the brush and everything up through here. Nice. That's a better sized dink right there. Again, that bait was just down, just under that bobber there as I've been trolling along here, about five foot of water. Well, the thing wasn't coming free, was it? There we go. Yeah, y'all, that's not a bad, uh, I'd call it a probably a smaller fun sizer right there, larger dink. Boy, he was stripping some drag when he went off there, wasn't he? Let's let him go. 
But yeah, y'all got my three-way rig here. And when I'm putting my dragon sinkers on, I've got a just a snap clip here that I attach them with. And so I've got one of them on my other rod over there. But this one, I was basically just letting this this float here is floating on the surface and my bait is just kind of down there just behind it. So, you know, that's probably, I don't know, two foot. So my bait's probably a foot underwater when you factor in the drag, it getting pulled up there. But let me show you where I'm at here now. So right here, you can see I'm kind of on the top of this drop right here. I've got the shoreline, this flat that comes out. And I'm right on the top, right before it starts to drop off real sharp. So I'm only five feet deep. And so I got one of my baits dragging and I thought the other there, I'm just going to put under that float and just keep it a, you know, a foot or so under the surface because I mean, heck, I'm only five feet deep anyway. So, uh, yeah, that worked out. So I'm going to keep doing it. I'll probably take my sinker off this other one here just because, again, it's it's so shallow here. I don't necessarily need to be dragging baits to keep them down and just off the bottom because I can put them under a float and they're still just off the bottom. Get us another bait on here. I'm just cutting a, another midsection of the skipjack. That other fish there had thrown it off. I'm putting out a fairly big piece here. Let's get that thing on there. I'm gonna get myself repositioned. And I think again, I think I'm gonna reel that other one in, take the sinker off and just let it go under the float. There we go. There's another one on here. This one is on the midsection again. I was just getting ready to go out to deeper water. The fog's burn off now. Sun's getting higher up in the sky, so I wasn't real, wasn't real sure if this shallow water bite here was going to persist. Not that there really has been one. Just got that one other fish here in about I don't know 30 minutes or so of doing it. This one here, just a tiny thing. You can tell he's been in the shallows though. He's dark up top. Or maybe it's just maybe it's just because I ain't got my glasses on trying to look at him. I don't know. <laughs> I'm about to bust out my glasses. It's gonna be a sunny day. Alright, there we go. Small blue. Most importantly though, hell he left the bait on us there. As I said on my remote. I'm just gonna re rehook this thing. And y'all, when I've been up here in the shallows like this, my suspended baits, I've just kind of got them out of the water here. I'm not going to suspend baits when I'm currently seven feet deep, you know. I'm not going to fool with that. I mean, these, let me explain that. These baits here are kind of suspended, right? Just kind of under the surface here, under the floats. But they're not right next to the kayak. Give that a toss back there. So, uh, so uh, yeah, so those baits under the floats are kind of suspended, but there's a big distance between the kayak and those baits versus these. I mean, they're just a few feet away right here from the motor, so I don't really have high expectations that those are going to get hit. But these, on the other hand, they're far enough back to uh, draw the attention. But you can see now the sun's out here, seven feet of water, and water's got a little color to it but there's light penetration all the way down to the bottom so i'm probably going to give this just a few hundred more yards here in the shallows and then i'm going to get back out into the deeper water and probably turn around and start heading back because it's uh let's see 9 30 now and so i'm probably going to fish two two and a half more hours and then i gotta go let the parents dog out so uh yeah that's probably what i'll do just fish my way up a little bit more here in the shallows then probably switch these up and just suspend on all four rods on the way back down on this ledge right here right here 
Oh, that thing took it down hard. That took it down hard, man. Turn that off there. Man, I've went a while, y'all, without a bite. It's been a long while. I've started making my way back down this ledge here, but it's been dead. Since that sun got up in the sky and burnt the fog off, it's like, I mean, it's just, I mean, I'm not getting dink taps or nothing. But then this rod went down here, so. I think that's gonna be a fun sizer. I'm at 45 feet right now. That bait was suspended right off the bottom. Yeah, that's a fun sizer. I'll take that. Nice, man. Long overdue on that fish, y'all. <laughs> Long overdue. Okay, bring it in. Nice. <laughs> Happy to get it, buddy. Happy to get this fish. I wasn't sure I was going to get another one. The way it's been going, I mean, you can't even get a dink tap, you know. I got that rod and the line there in the way, but it's all right. That's a, that's a darker color fish, too. Nice. All right, there it is. I'm gonna let it go. There it goes. And get back to it. So uh, what I decided to do, these baits that have been back here under the floats right under the surface, I said, you know what? I'm not gonna switch that out. I'm just gonna keep going with it. And so, you know, I'm over here, 47 feet here where I'm at, or I'm over 47 feet of water. These baits here, if they fish up there suspended, they liable to snatch one of them things because they just a, a foot or so under the surface as I make my way along. But I do still have my other two rods on the front suspended. And so those baits are just, you know, a couple, three feet off the bottom there as I make my way along. So trying to basically hit two different depths out here right now. Will I get bit on these? Probably not, but you never know. And I'm just out here again, just messing around today. Uh, again, during the spawn, my mindset shifts, you know. Every year I tend to get some better quality fish during the spawn, but it's just not as likely. So I'll mess around, I'll try some different things. You know, today's just one of them days, man. Let's get us another bait on here though. I'm gonna fish for another hour or so here and just cover some more water down through here. Try to put my baits in front of another one. Well guys, I am packed up and headed toward the car. My return down that ledge did not go as well as the trip up it this morning. That is for dang sure. I got, I think, one fish on the way back down through there. I mean, it wasn't like I was getting dink taps or anything. I mean, nothing. And those baits that were behind me under the floats, you know, suspended up over 40 feet of water, I didn't really have high hopes from them. It was just one of them things that, you know, I'm just gonna try it and just see what the heck happens with it. You know, if I get a fish, great. If not, well, we tried it. But my other two baits that were suspended right off the bottom as I made my way along, I really thought I'd pick up a few more fish on the way down through there, but it just didn't happen. Once that sun got up in the sky and the fog burned off, that was pretty much the end of my bite. And, you know, that's why I like to come out in the morning hours or, you know, fish in the evenings right around dusk. Those, there's feeding periods, feeding activity windows there around dawn and dusk oftentimes. And so if you're on the water, you can take advantage of it. And I was able to do that this morning and get a nice blue and get several other bites. It just, when it turned off, it turned off. And so anyway, though, I had a good time this morning, got me some fish, and now I'm going to go let my parents' dogs out and, and be a good son for them. So anyway, I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching.